Do you want to? Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, you go ahead. Yeah. So I can pay the big bucks. All right, Friend High School, fifth period. How are we feeling this first day of Writers Week 2023? We gotta say thank you to a few people. Uh, thank you to the teachers uh, at the end of the rows here, whether they are English teachers, whether they are here from other disciplines. Uh, your support means so, so much in making this event happen. Uh, thank you to the friend boosters. Many of your parents are uh, our boosters, so when you go home, uh, send them a big thank you, give them a hug, give them a high five, whatever you need to do to say thank you for helping Writers Week exist. Thanks to the admin um, and all of you for being just a wonderful audience. Um, 29 years of Writers Week wouldn't happen without the amazing students that we have here at Fremd High School. Uh, there you go, give yourself a round of applause. The rest of the period you're gonna be clapping for Elizabeth, so you can clap for yourself right now. All right, so it, it gives me great pleasure to introduce our next guest. Um, her name is Elizabeth Moen. She is a singer-songwriter who is currently based in Chicago, Illinois, although uh, she comes to us from Iowa. Mr. Harrigis, you'll be happy to know that she attended the University of Iowa. You over there? Oh, he's in the bathroom, great. Um, I'll do the same thing next period. Hopefully he'll hear it. Um, all right, please help me in welcoming Elizabeth Moen. All right. Uh, I'm going to play songs I wrote, I guess that makes sense for the purpose of this week. Uh, this first song is called Where's My Bike? First line, we're going to figure out where my bike is. about my week I can tell it's a trap my leg starts to jump to show me I'm in for another panic attack my car is parked at the edge of my parents lot Cause I basically live with them My phone overheated on the seat Cause I forgot to bring all my stuff in But I don't really talk to my friends anymore I don't blame them What do I have left to say about anything That be worth listening to to a cafe to stare at a book I'm too tired to be reading and my coffee is almost as bitter as I am is it even worth drinking I'm going to the park to lay on a tire swing till someone catches me sleeping In the hot sand I'm sick of singing songs About my exes Should join somebody else's band Play songs about their life instead 
instead of mine Be a part of a very marketable brand Or I could keep wallowing all afternoon Only think about my own problems Problems This next one is actually the first song I ever wrote. And I didn't start writing songs. I played guitar in high school. Um, but, and I would sing cover songs like in my room. But I was always afraid of writing my own words. I was scared of being cheesy or that I would sound stupid. And I realized how uh, mean that was. I was being my own little bully for so long. Um, and I had a, a fear of not being cool. And then I realized that uh, being yourself is actually the coolest thing you could do. Um, and so yeah, thanks to some friends of mine, I felt encouraged to finally write a song and I wrote this one. Um, yeah, I was like 22, 21. So if any of you are you know, you play guitar, you play piano, or you just love to sing, I highly encourage you to just give writing a song a try um, because I wish I would have had the courage to do it when I was your age. Um, and the time is now for you, so go ahead and do that. swoop you into my wings But I'm just a songbird outside your window And I wish I could come inside and sit on your table Just spend the morning talking and laughing Understand me, so I sit here and sing songs for you. And I wish I could come inside and sit on your table. And I wish you would climb up. This old maple tree No, I wouldn't fly away Like the other birds would do And I wish you'd sit here Among the branches and leaves Just spend the morning Talking and laughing And sing songs for you.
could come inside and sit on your table And I wish I could speak in whatever language you do Just spend the morning talking and laughing Sing songs for you. Now, this next one is a newer one. Only played it at one show last month. So, y'all are, I guess, I'm testing it out. It's terrifying. I'm kidding. Well, not really. I mean, it's about having a little crush. You are so attentive. Oh my God. It's amazing. talking to you but when I do oh, I'll say something when I see you again purple flowers outside the rainbow for a Sunday the place sure is buzzing in my head with slow motion dancing coupled up lovers singing Singing shows beginning, beginning to end. Middle of the room, boots tapping to the music. In my head with slow motion, kissing. Turn around and you're in my ear listening. I don't know you, but I want to. Oh, sometimes I, I get so quiet. I'm not talking to you, but when I do, oh, I'll say something when I see you again, 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 again. Tonight, how you doing tonight? Oh, 
Questions? I'll rip a solo, don't you worry. Don't you worry. Um, any questions? Any questions about being a full time uh, artist, songwriting, guitar? The city of Chicago, yes. Well, great question. Um, songs don't have to rhyme. Um, and you can also use near rhymes. That's one of my favorite things to do in songs, where it doesn't have to be an exact rhyme. It can just kind of, I mean, a song, it's all about just trying to make it sound nice. So it, it can rhyme. It can't rhyme. It's, that's, I guess, the beauty of making art, is it's completely subjective, and it's whatever you want to make, really. Do it. Yes? Yes. So do I start with lyrics first, or melody first, or um, guitar? It really depends. Um, because I started out as a guitarist, I would usually just be like noodling around, and then I'd start humming, and then it would kind of just be this almost like a way of doing like, like self-therapy where I would just be kind of like, just like singing out how, whatever I was feeling. And then sometimes one of, those line, one of those things I'd be saying would actually be like, oh, that could be a line in a song. And then I would like sit down at my computer. I usually don't write songs. I go to my notes app either on my phone or I like do a Google Doc. Um, and then I just start writing words. But I found that like when I'm on tour, um, especially like on a tour bus where there's a lot of people in the bus, I will write the words first. Because when you're on a tour bus, it's like you don't want to just be sitting there with a the guitar singing. I mean, you could, but that'd be a little annoying. Um, so lately, I've been leaning into writing the words first and then the melody or like uh, I'll be, I, I like to go on walks, and when I go on walks, if I like start humming and I think oh, fucking that I think sounds nice, I'll just like bust out my voice memo and just sing on the street relatively quietly, and then I'll go home and listen back and see if I liked it or not. Uh, I've also been getting really into co-writing. I think I was really scared to, I think that's, it's a very vulnerable thing to, you know, want to, to make art with other people, especially like writing a song. Um, but I have a lot of friends in Chicago now who are also songwriters and we've been doing these things where we get together and like I'll show a song that I'm kind of working on, but it's definitely like a first draft. And then they give me some feedback. And then if the feedback seems like a really good back and forth, we'll finish the song together or vice versa. Or sometimes um, I'll meet up with some friends and I'll just bring a chorus or I'll just bring a verse. And then we just kind of go from there. Um, and some of my friends are also producers. And so my friend Blake, he has like a full setup in his apartment that's like a studio. So it's like he's got drums, uh, like any kind of keyboard or Wurlitzer you could imagine, a bunch of amps, guitars, basses. So sometimes my friends and I will get together at his house and I'll bring a verse. 
we finish the song, and then we demo out the song right then. Um, so last winter, we ended up writing and recording like an album's worth of songs that we're still just sitting on. But um, yeah, that's also the fun thing about songwriting is it is my job now. Um, but before it ever was my job, it was just a passion and it, and it was fun. And so I also write a lot of songs just for the sake of it, without the intention of trying to make money from it. Um, and I think that's good to do. Or as a songwriter, um, I try and do other things to inspire my art. Like I, I don't just write songs or play guitar. I try and like get out of my comfort zone and um, I try and paint. And I'm not good at painting, but it's very fun. Um, I like to I like to go to karaoke and just screech for fun. Um, but yeah, I think doing other kinds of art will inspire whatever specific art that you feel the most passionate about. Um, that was a really long answer, but yeah. Yeah. What impact do I want to leave? It's a great question. Um, I think I just want um, people to feel however they need to feel when they're listening to a song. A lot of my songs can be kind of sad. Um, some of them can be happy, but I think uh, people need to feel whatever they're feeling in a safe way. And I do a lot of shows. I'm on tour most of the year. So I really love to perform and do like live shows with the band and just give people like, not necessarily an escape, but like a place where they can like, they can dance, they can cry, they can like feel something in a big way or, you know, the power of writing is uh, sometimes you can read a poem or you can read a book and be like, wow, that person just explained this thing that I feel in a way that maybe I couldn't have. Um, so, yeah, I guess that's just my goal. Yeah, yeah. If I could collab with any artist, I would probably want to collaborate, well, Prince, but that can't happen, unfortunately. Um, uh, Brittany Howard is one of my favorite musicians. Um, I think that would be a dream. Um, I love Wilco. Wilco is a Chicago-based band that I'm definitely a big fan of. Um, there's so many, yeah, but probably those two, yeah. I actually, I can't see anything. Oh, God. Yes. So. The artists I, I, oh wow, I listen to everything. Um, my favorite band right now is Fontaine's DC. They're a post-punk band from Dublin. Um, I obviously don't write punk music, but I'm very inspired by it. Um, I highly encourage listening to all genres. I think um, they're, all, they're all great for different reasons. Um, but yeah, Fontaine's DC, they're, they're really great. Uh, there was another one back there, yeah. My biggest inspiration for music? Was it what? Who I look up to? Oh, so, so, so many people. Um, this guy that I went on tour with last year, I was in his band. Um, his name's Kevin Morby. He's a folk singer, songwriter as well, and he, uh, he also is from like a small Midwest town, self-taught, um, just like started from the ground up. He worked really hard and he's definitely hitting a stride in his career where he's doing really well, but he's still just a really great person. I think no matter what success you end up having in life, um, it, what really matters is who you are at the end of the day. Someone like even, you know, Bruce Springsteen, like he is one of the most famous people of all time and he still is known to this day for being just a kind person and it doesn't matter who you are in the room, he's not gonna treat you like he 
is better than you or cooler than you. Um, yeah. Oh, 15 minutes. All right, I'm gonna sing. I'm gonna sing. Is what? Oh, yeah. My favorite rapper. I mean Kendrick. Right? No? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? It's an easy answer. Uh, I'm gonna play, should I just like play three songs or play two songs and talk more? I don't know. What? So, you want like a five minute solo over there? Okay. <laughs> Is anyone here a guitarist? These next two songs are written in an open tuning. You can play the piccolo? Wow. All right. All right, I wrote this song when I was on tour in Dublin. That's how I got to find that uh, band that I love so much. Um, but yeah, this one was written about a night in, in good old Dublin, Ireland. <laughs> I can see from the corner you're watching if I'm watching too. Here again and when we're out, I tell them I'm just friends now with you. Talk about what's old and new and dance around what's in between. Dirty walls are letting go and getting close to getting what they From the land, and you've got the affection you crave. We'll still be standing right here with a drink she made me, even if I stayed. Slip right out of sight to get a ride about saying goodbye. Turn around and see if you would stop me, even though it hurt more if you tried. the faces and your frames kitchen lights behind my back are showing everything on the glass put your arms around her shoulder and i'm trying to make sense on how i feel about the past i'm stuck in the hallway afraid to close the door and you used to 
That song and the first song and this next one, the last one, are from a record that I released uh, in November, so it's kind of new. I finally got some vinyl for it. Um, in a way that I, through songwriting, um, this is a new thing, but a way that I um, songwrite to help fund being able to, because, you know, to make records, to go on tour, you know, to pay for your tour van, to pay for gas, so many things. Um, I have been hired to write songs, um, like sometimes for commercials, um, or uh, like people hire me to help them finish a song. Like it's not just like a friend collab thing. Um, but there are so many, so many ways that you can songwrite um, for a job if that's something you want to do. Um, and it's not just writing folk songs and screeching them at people. It's also someone hires you to write a country song about a medication, and then you write a country song about a medication. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of different, a lot of different things you can do. Um, and I really, I think everyone could write a song. Um, and I hope that some of you out there, did, does anyone out there write songs? like? Do you write a song? Anybody? Anybody? Not yet. I mean, I didn't. I didn't write songs until I graduated college. You write songs? That's great. That's awesome. Uh, yeah. Like, it took me until my last year of college. I majored in French and international business, and it wasn't until the end of college where I realized that songwriting was a thing that I loved to do, and it was a thing that I could try and do with my life. Um, so also, if you don't know what you want to do now, that's OK, because the thing that you're meant to do, it might not come to be until you're in your 20s or even your 30s or your 40s. Some people I really look up to, um, you know, someone like Sheryl Crow, she didn't really hit her stride and become who she was until her 30s. In a way that she got really popular was she she wrote a song for a McDonald's ad, and then that's how it happened. Um, or someone like Brandi Carlile, uh, you know, it wasn't until she was in her 40s where you know she really hit her stride. So, yeah, you have so much time. It is bananas how much time you have to figure out whatever it is that you want to do. Um, so yeah, here's one more song. Thanks again for being such an attentive audience. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your day. If you like my music, cool. If you don't, awesome. But if you do like it, you can find it on the internet, as one does. All right. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. That song is called Headgear, and it's in honor of when I had braces and had to wear headgear. All right, have a great rest of your day. Be safe, have fun.